Hi friends, welcome back. I hope you're all having a good time there. And in my last video, I had shared with you some of the things that I'm prepping for my husband's birthday, which comes right after Christmas. So here I'm sharing with you what I'm cooking for him for the day, uh, mostly all in the instant pot. So many of you were asking for instant pot recipes. So here I'm preparing a traditional meal today, a Kerala meal. Do check that out and also the cake recipe. We are making ice cream cake today. It turned out so good. So make sure to check the entire video and please don't forget to give a like and save it whenever you are looking for some traditional recipes or cake recipes for birthdays. Here in the morning, I'm just, just rinsing off the soaked chana. I had kept the black chana for soaking the previous night and I'm just soaking some black eyed beans also for lunch. So the black chana, we are making chickpeas curry for the putta, which is my husband's favorite breakfast. He is not tired of it. How many of our times he served putta and kadla curry for breakfast. So for putta this time I'm taking rice flour since I had run out of actual the putta powder. So I'm taking about one cup of rice flour and use a little bit of salt and some water to moisten the powder a little bit. I'm using cold water here. What you're seeing here is not steam. It is just the powder that is flying off when I'm trying to add the water. So the consistency for putta is not like the regular dough. It can easily form a shape if you want to but then crumble easily the same way as well when it's pressed. So that is the consistency that we need and then I'm using a blender to blend this just one round in the blender so that we make the putta extremely soft and the lumps don't come as hard. So these small small lumps make the putta hard in between when it's steamed just run through the blender and the putta that we get is very very soft so do try this and see it, it's a great tip that i read somewhere and it's very very tasty if you make it like that now it's time to get the black chickpeas curry going I'm taking the instant pot, adding in the oil and then adding in the onions which are chopped right now and then I have already taken out the roasted coconut paste and the tomato paste from the fridge that we prepared yesterday and once the onions are sorted well just add in the tomato paste. It's definitely helpful to keep some meal prep at hand when for occasions like these birthdays or parties or some if guests are coming over. It's definitely helpful to write down the menu initially and get to know what prep work needs to be done and write down the meal prep required and do it. This saves a lot of time and that's the reason why I'm able to prepare all this in the morning itself and get some free time after lunch. So once the tomato paste and the roasted coconut paste are added in along with the chickpeas, Add the spices, turmeric, red chilli powder, coriander powder, garam masala and salt, water, that is 2 cups of water for 1 cup of chana and then cook it in the instant pot at pressure cook mode for 30 minutes straight. Then I went ahead and got some balloons blown up just because I was the only one awake in the house, everyone was fast asleep. I got some time for a little bit of record and also for the gifts that I gave my husband I did a little vlog on my Malayalam channel um, so make sure to check that I will definitely let you know when the video is up. It was really fun to give him the gifts and to see his expressions, his shocking expressions by the way. So anyway, do check that video out. As we can see here, lunch preparations are starting with some Kerala traditional recipes. All the curries I'm preparing in the instant pot one after the other 
and side by side i prepared the kheer and the dry sabji on the stove starting with the kerala special olen which is a coconut milk based gravy we had soaked these black eyed peas in the morning as you would have seen earlier and i'm chopping an inch piece of ginger two green chilies and curry leaves ready so for this curry i'm just adding the black eyed beans along with the long beans and the ash gourds that we had already kept chopped yesterday into the instant pot along with the ginger curry leaves and green chilli and pressure cook for 6 minutes so now that the one curry preparation is going on we have enough time for making the dry sabji out of ivy gourd today or kovika in malayalam so for that i'm just chopping the shallots and some green chillies for the seasoning since we have already chopped the veggies yesterday itself it's very easy to do this today just cook the ivy gourd along with some salt and turmeric and then add in the shallots green chillies and some grated coconut and i'm also getting started with cooking the rice so by this time the olen is cooked and you can release the pressure and add half a cup of thin coconut milk into it and then add the curry leaves and a teaspoon of coconut oil and the curry is ready and also side by side i'll just finish off the stir fry before getting started with our next curry which is avial for the avial that we are preparing in the instant pot today we have the carrots beans and ash gourds that are all chopped up already i decided to add in some snake gourd pieces too while the instant pot was heating up first i'm adding in a teaspoon of coconut oil to saute the veggies slightly and then we'll add in salt turmeric and 1 cup of water and the coconut paste that we had prepared the last night so the coconut paste has grated coconut cumin seeds green chillies and mustard all ground together with very little water add in everything and pressure cook for 4 minutes to cook all the veggies well enough side by side i started with the kheer preparation with the roasted semolina this is my hubby's all time favorite and you would have seen me make this many times i added milk to cook the semolina and in a few minutes we'll add in the condensed milk for the sweetness and then add some roasted cashews and raisins to garnish the porridge next hubby likes pickles out of which the tamarind ginger pickle is one of his favorites this is my last minute preparation but this could be done very much in advance as well so here i have kept everything ready for it some ginger 1/4 cup few curry leaves 3/4 green chillies one red chilli and we are using tamarind paste here so first i fried the ginger in a teaspoon of sesame oil and then added the mustard seeds green chillies curry leaves and red chilli and to the fried ginger then we'll add 1 teaspoon of tamarind paste which is diluted with a little bit of water and then add that to the pan and let this whole mixture boil for a few minutes add salt turmeric to add to the flavor while it boils and then at the end add 1 to 2 teaspoons of jaggery for the sweetness according to preference so as you can see by this time the vegetables that we kept for the avial have already cooked well and the only thing that we need to add is about 1/4 cup of curd and then mix it well and then top it with a teaspoon of coconut oil for the flavor a very simple dish but definitely something that is a favorite in our house next we are getting started with the pineapple pachadi the last night i had chopped up the whole pineapple so i'm using one full pineapple here because the kids really enjoy this curry because of the sweetness so i'm just adding the pineapple and pressure cooking it with water salt and turmeric for 2 minutes that's it and once that is done you can see it's cooked completely well i'm adding in the grated coconut mixture that we had kept ready so this is the same grated coconut paste that i have used for the avial but i had kept it in a separate container so that makes it easier to use and then once that is added mix it really well and that's it 
at the end add two tablespoons of curd and mix it really well and then you can add in the seasoning with mustard curry leaves and red chili to complete the dish but this is the most favorite traditional kerala dish that my kids really enjoy and i hope you try this out as well Next, we are preparing the cake. I baked the cake the previous night itself, since we wanted to prepare an ice cream cake. So all the measurements for the cake will be there in the description box. But here I'm making the vanilla cake. So for that, I'm just whipping up the butter along with brown sugar, and also adding in eggs. So this is a mixture of eggs and one egg white, two complete eggs and one egg white. Whipping it all completely, and then also adding. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, since we're preparing a vanilla cake, and then for the dry ingredients, the cake flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt, and mix the liquid ingredients with the dry ingredients, and then add in the buttermilk little by little, and keep mixing it until you form the creamy consistency batter. I somehow like to use the hand mixer instead of the stand mixer for my cake recipes. And then bake it in the oven at 350 degree Fahrenheit for 25 minutes approximately. Make sure that the inside of the cake completely cooks before you take it out. And once the cake cools out. Um, I added in coffee ice cream on top of it so I kept the ice cream out of the freezer for a little bit so that it softens and then I put it over the cake completely and then kept it in the freezer for the rest of the day so this cake turned out excellent and personally none of us like the frosting at home mostly kids also enjoy it for a little bit and then they leave it since it was an ice cream cake we all enjoyed it so well and this i think i have tasted it only once before this so overall this cake turned out so good and my husband really enjoyed it on his birthday so if you have a chance to try an ice cream cake try it out with coffee especially for adults i think it would be something that they would really enjoy so with that we are about to end this day with cake cutting and enjoying the rest of the day with family so i hope you try these recipes out in the instant pot since many of you wanted to try healthy traditional recipes in the instant pot i thought i will do all of that today here so i hope you enjoyed it do give this a like it means a whole lot to me and do subscribe to this channel if you're new here and if you enjoy watching healthy recipes like these stay tuned until my next video until then take care bye bye